In this video, I have seven reasons why everyone is moving to Dallas, Texas, and I'm counting them down right now. What's up everyone? My name is Darius Holmes. Now, if this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything, eating, sleeping, playing, living, and seven reasons why everyone is moving to Dallas, Texas, then smash that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to click the little bell down below so you can be reminded every time I upload a new video. And honestly, you guys been reaching out to me ready to relocate to the Dallas area, and I absolutely love it. So if you've been thinking about making a move to Dallas, all you gotta do is connect with me. Give me a call, shoot me a text, or even an email. I got your back with all your DFW Metroplex real estate needs. As one of the fastest growing cities and one of the best places to live in America, Dallas is booming, and I have seven good reasons why. Starting this off, there are tons of jobs for everyone, whether you're a recent grad or looking for a career change. Do yourself a favor and head to Dallas and the surrounding areas. Dallas is known for its thriving economy, is home to some of the wealthiest people in this country, and loves the liberty to do business. In Dallas, you're encouraged to put your talents to work so you can rake in the big bucks. Also in this mecca of opportunity, Expect to find a lower unemployment rate, prior to the pandemic, of course. Plenty of room for growth. Fortune 500 companies such as ExxonMobil, AT&T, American Airlines, not to mention dozens of other large companies that employ hundreds of people. You will also find job diversity. Dallas is ranked first in job growth, and the number of jobs added out of the 12 largest metro areas in the United States. All sectors of jobs are growing from professional and business service, services to government jobs. If you're struggling to find work where you're currently living, you might consider moving to where the money is. Number two on this list, Dallas is affordable. Not only are your chances of finding a decent job with a big company are much higher here in Dallas than other cities, but you'll also get to enjoy your pay more too. Although Dallas ranks slightly higher than the national average for cost of living, Consider how it stands up to, you know, other metros. For example, New York City. Expect 129% higher cost of living. Or even Miami, which is 14% higher. By comparison, Dallas really isn't so bad. Other towns may be well below the national average for cost of living, but you might not find the job opportunities that Dallas offers. For this reason, it may be worth the average mortgage payment of $1,300 a month but with an average salary being 50000 or more per year. Again, not so bad. All right, number three, is a car really necessary? It's true we love our cars and big trucks here in Texas, but believe it or not, you can live, work, play in Dallas without one. Cars can be a real pain, and they just cost a lot. Sounds so familiar to me. I like to say break my wallet. But I'm not going to name any car manufacturers. Between repairs, routine maintenance, car insurance, and the inspection, the cost of drive can drive you up the wall, especially when you think you saved up enough money for that new pair of Jordans or even that purse you've been eyeing online. The majority of Dallas residents use their personal vehicle to, to get around. Walkability and bikeability are becoming big deals in a lot of areas as we speak. In the meantime, there are plenty of efficient and convenient public transportation options, leaving you the freedom to save some money by navigating vehicle-free if you choose to go that route. Check this video out at the conclusion of this one so you can see the different ways to get around the Dallas Metroplex. All right, on to number four. There is no such thing as being bored in Dallas. This diverse city has so much to offer for everyone, no matter what you enjoy, or have an interest in. Whether you live and breathe sports, have an inclination for the arts, or could literally shop till you drop, Dallas would not disappoint. Now I know a lot of people move here because of the job market or they love playing in the sun, but let's be real, Dallas is fun. Ready to live it up in the Big D? You can hit the Taste of Dallas, immerse yourself in the arts, like at the Parole Museum of Science and Nature, Check out the different galleries in the Arts District. Catch a ball game. Experience Dallas nightlife by hitting all the different hot spots, live music, cold beer, and more. 
or you can just hit the like like I'm about to do at the, at the conclusion of this video. Now I'm going to have to do a separate video on this topic because I could talk all day on this one. It's so much to do here and I find it really hard for a person of any background to actually be bored here. Well, I guess the fifth one on our list could cause some boredom. That's if you love the snow because it rarely snows here in Dallas. I can sum this whole segment up with one word. So Darius, what's the weather like? It's hot. What about the fall? Hot. And the winter too? Hot. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but in the summertime, you will feel the heat along with the humidity. Dallas winters are mild, rainfall frequently occurs more at night, and most thunderstorms hit in the spring. Snow, on the other hand, is a rare occurrence. It can reach an average high of low to mid-90s during the summer months, and it can still get pretty cold in the winter. But doesn't an average high of 70 degrees in February sound pretty good? All right, number six, education. Ready to go back to class and pick up your master's, change careers, or pick up a new trade? If you love learning and self-improvement like yours truly, then you'll appreciate the educational opportunities Dallas has to offer. There are tons of private, public, and community educational institutions in the Dallas area, such as the University of Texas and the SMU, Southern Methodist University. SMU ranks 64th on the U.S. News Best National Colleges list and offers renowned education businesses and law programs as well as interesting undergrad programs like trips to study anthropology in the New Mexican mountains. There are lots of non-credit courses open to the community in Dallas too. For example, at the Creative Arts Center of Dallas, you can participate in one of several inspiring workshops from creative writing to leatherworking. Or you can learn how to fuse glass and make chandelier earrings at the Craft Guild. Not too sure about returning to school? Well, you can still benefit from living in an educational rich area. I know you're probably thinking, how? Wherever there are college students, there's usually tons of cultural events, affordable entertainment options, and non-classroom opportunities available to the public. Plus, it can't hurt to be surrounded by studious people. Check out this video if you want to learn more about schooling in DFW. Alright, at number 7 on our list, you can check out other amazing cities in a day. Are you curious about other amazing Texan cities? Would you like to check out the state capitol in Austin? Hang out in Houston? Or take a stroll along the Riverwalk in San Antonio? You don't have to make the very difficult decision of where to move within the state. All you have to do is relocate here to Dallas and explore from your home base. You can get to any of the above places in less than a five hour drive. If you want to check out smaller cities, you have a wide selection of those as a Dallas resident too. Wichita Falls, Waco, College Station, Abilene can all make for a fun day trip. Now if you're feeling a little adventurous and you want some of that uh, wild sea action or the sandy beach, Galveston isn't too far away either, just south of Houston. Even though Dallas has everything one could ever need, sometimes the urge to explore takes over. If you live in Dallas, your sightseeing options are endless. Comment down below and let me know what you love to do for fun. So have I convinced you to make the move yet? If so, I'm excited to help you take the next step. But if you're still undecided, check out these videos where you can learn more about living in Dallas, Texas. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything living in Dallas, Texas. And until the next one, I'll catch you later.